Hello and welcome into my attic. I don't know about where you live, but where I live, thrifted ceramic vases cost quite a lot. So if you're in the same boat as me, I just want you all to know that you can do a great vase makeover using only a bigger sized pickle jar or any other type of jar it may be. And here I'm going to show you how, at least, this is my version, my solution, if you will. So let's get started. Okay, so naturally we need our jars and we need to wash them really well to make the paint stick. In my opinion, when DIYing with glass jars, I've said it before, there's nothing more unsightly than seeing the screw on ridges on top of the jars. They need to be disguised. So what I like to do is take out my plastic chain here, which is quite rigid, and this is a good measurement to disguise the ridges on the jar. I just hot glue it on and it covers it up really well and it's ready for painting. So the ingredients for my paint are one heat teaspoon of acrylic paint, three heat teaspoons of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of wood glue or PVA glue, and a splash of water, and mix very, very well. Add more water if you need. As you can see, my paint is orange, and this recipe, these ingredients in the paint, stick on really well to glass. So I'm dabbing the paint to get rid of the brush marks and to get a bit of texture. So when the orange was dry, I took some brown paint with the same ingredients as the orange paint, just with the brown paint colour instead of the orange, of course. And then um, I brushed that onto the jar and I dabbed it as well. And then I started to um, add together the orange paint. So I kind of alternate with the orange paint, the brown paint, and then I dab them together and I'd carry on like that. Uh, until I got the look I was after and what I was after was a kind of a rusty look. So the jar was completely dry the next day and I got the urge to uh, sandpaper it. I don't know why I just did. <laughs> and I'm glad I did because it came out much better. It brought out the colour, uh, it brought out all the lumps and bumps, all the defects. And you know, when you're doing an old vintage style um, DIY, uh, you want all the defects and the lumps and bumps to pop out. So yeah, that was um, a good idea actually. So I wanted to give a touch of 
industrialism to this jar. So I took some clay, I coloured it with the paint, um, I just poked a few holes in it, um, and then I uh, stamped with some wooden letters the sign for iron, which is FE, which stands for ferrum, which is Latin, um, and that means iron. So um, it's going to be kind of a label that I'm going to stick on, like an iron label, I hope anyway. <laughs> So believe it or not, when it was dry, this um, faux iron label I stuck onto the jar with double-sided sticky tape because maybe in the future I might want to change it, I doubt it, but I might want to change it, I might want to put a floral print on it or something, <laughs> you know, who knows in the future. Because I like the jar and you know, I know I'll always keep it because I really like it. But, you know, maybe I want to change the style in the future. So that's why I use double-sided sticky tape. So for my second jug, I did this, exactly the same recipe for the paint and I did two coats of brown paint uh, drying in between on this vase here. So when I did my two base coats and dried them off quickly with the hair dryer, I made up some more paint and I added more cornstarch this time because I wanted the paint to be thicker. And then I uh, applied it to the vase. So my aim now is to make the vase as textured as possible. So I'm going to take my thick paint, my bristly brush, and I'm going to go backwards and forwards around the circumference of the vase pulling the paint backwards and forwards so it's going to get stickier, messier and uh, making all the lumps rise to the surface. So it's the next day, my vase is completely dry, so now I'm going to go in with my next colour which is an off-white. So this uh, off-white paint uh, is made in the same way as the other paints and I'm just going to go all over the vase. If the colours happen to intermingle a little, I don't mind because I don't want the white to be really stark white. So for this vase, I've just done the one coat of white paint on top. Um, I want it's patchy and that's how I want it. I'm going to sandpaper it now, it's completely dry so I can safely sandpaper it um, because I want all the little brown lumps to come through as well. Well that's it guys, now who looking at this would ever think that it was glass and not pottery, it really looks like the real deal. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe and thank you for watching. See you in the next one, bye!